The following video will provide some tips and tricks for the new PowerMall Additive plugin. The first tip we will look at will be how to convert a subtractive toolpath to an additive one. In this project, there is a rotary toolpath generated around a shaft. To convert this path to an additive path, navigate to the additive tab. Make sure that the rotary toolpath is the active one. Then click Convert to Additive. A new dialog appears where you can enter a base surface, give layer thicknesses, and apply an offset. This path only requires a default layer thickness which we'll set to 3mm. Click Apply to convert this path to additive. Notice that the path will change from green, subtractive, to orange, additive. You can alternate the direction of raster layers once generated. This can help build a consistent PAR height when depositing using a wire arc additive manufacturing process. In the Additive tab, select Reverse Layers. Choose to edit the whole toolpath or a range of layers and select what in particular you wish to reverse. In this case, we are reversing the whole toolpath and reversing all segments within alternate layers. Another feature available in the plugin is the ability to apply different process parameters, either associated to individual points or at key intervals. This allows you to output variable process parameters to the machine with the correct post configuration. In this example, we will apply a wait time between layers. This could be used to allow for a previous layer to cool down and solidify before depositing subsequent layers. In the Additive tab, select Edit Process Parameters. The ribbon will change and a new dialog will open. This dialog is used for the inspection of applied recipes and will be used to view our changes once they have been made. Close the dialog box and on the ribbon, select Edit. This is where you can apply different recipes to the active path. Give the recipe a name. Type the output tag. This will be the command executed by the post. Beneath, you can choose where to apply the new parameters. So in this case, the parameter is relative to a layer at the end of a toolpath segment. Then either set a point to apply at or a range of points to apply over. Set it to occur at the end of the segment and then enter a value. This will appear after the command in the outputted file. Apply and accept, then from the ribbon, select Inspect. A new parameter appears on the far left column. Select the weight parameter. This enables you to see exactly which points will have this weight command applied to them when posted. Close and click Accept to confirm the changes to the toolpath. Should you need to separate layers into individual toolpaths for subsequent editing, this is also possible. In the Additive tab, with the toolpath active, select Split Layers. Split the active toolpath or multiple toolpaths. Have multiple layers in each split by entering a figure below. Then organise the splits into folders and assign folder names and toolpath suffixes. Apply the split. The original toolpath is kept and the split paths are placed in a folder in the Explorer. This has been an overview of the tips and tricks in the PowerMall Additive plugin.